I must admit there are times for me as a ventriloquist when it is a little bit hard to resist the temptation to pull a prank, but there have been a couple of times it's been a little inappropriate. Like, I'm pretty sure I will never be asked to be a pallbearer again. Let's just say. <laughs> Now I have the old furniture disease. The old furniture disease? Mm hmm And what is that? My chest done dropped into my drawers. <laughs> Normally, I'm very regular. <laughs> Seven o'clock every morning. That, that's great. No, that's bad. That's bad? I don't get up till eight. No, I... <laughs> Laughing or listening to someone else laugh is truly medicine for the soul. Hello, I'm David Jeremiah, and my friend David Pendleton has been my guest for many events at Turning Point and the Shadow Mountain Community Church. Use Dr. Jeremiah as the dummy. <laughs> David's unique blend of creativity and amazing ventriloquism has made audiences on our Turning Point cruises and at fundraising events truly believe David can make anything talk. Okay, now, Anthony, you're not scared of me, are you? <laughs> All right, let's not talk about Chucky. <laughs> At our Shadow Mountain Community Church Comedy Night concert, he had me conversing with Aunt Tilly and trying to keep up with her hilarious antics. Dr. Jeremiah? Yes, ma'am. I bet I can tell you how old you are. <laughs> I highly recommend David Pendleton for any event you plan. Be prepared for your group to bond together from non-stop laughter. Can you tell everybody your name? Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> and, and, uh, and what is your name? Tina. Thank you.